what's going on guys you boys pilot 2k7 and we are back for a brand new grand Auto 5 real life mod video welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day and i appreciate you guys for checking out today's video so today we just got called out by the blaine county sheriff department to respond to a two vehicle rollover they have a scv that rolled over and a semi truck and trailer that rolled over as well and a container it was a container uh, trailer the whole container flipped over and it's, it sounds like a pretty crazy call by what the sheriff department has said so you guys already know ace towing we have the best equipment we have the best workers we are the best towing company in san andreas so of course they're going to call us and we're going to go ahead and respond and take care of the situation so right now we have the rollback which is going to be responding for the rolled over suv we have the kenworth and the uh flat trailer here to just pick up the container we're going to put the container onto this and then we're going to use our heavy duty wrecker to do all of the flipping today. So we're going to bring out heavy number two, with us, which is our Kenworth W900 wrecker. So we're going to use this to flip everything back over, as well as tow the semi truck and possibly the trailer back to the shop, depending on how damaged the trailer is. We may have to request some more trucks once we get to the scene. Um, I don't have any other trucks here right now, but if we do need any more trucks, you guys know we do have another shop down in the city and we could just radio them radio them in and they could go ahead and bring some more heavy equipment if needed so let's go ahead and roll out guys let's get going now if you guys do enjoy this episode do me a favor guys make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button guys leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new welcome to the channel everybody make sure you guys turn on those post notifications as well that way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video having some trouble getting in come on man i just said we're trained professionals <laughs> can't even get in the truck okay we're good now all right so let's roll out and respond to the emergency all right it's towing and recovery we are heading out All right, so this is actually pretty close. It's only about a 1.5 miles away from us, so it shouldn't take us too long to get to the scene. Why are you, got, why are you driving the long way? We're supposed to turn right there. I think he's going to make this hard turn. Where the heck are we going? Where is he taking us right now? Is he about to put us on the highway? All right, we're not following him. I guess we'll uh, we'll meet him at the scene. I don't know where he's going right now. We're gonna have to try to reset him. Yeah, he's getting on the highway. I don't know why he's taking the highway all the way over there. All right, guys, so he was so determined to drive his own way. I just had to reprogram him and set him to just follow us. So now uh, the other two trucks are just gonna follow us to the scene. I don't know where he was trying to take us, but he is going to make this trip way longer than it had to be. Alright guys, so it looks like we are arriving on scene, and yeah, this one looks pretty bad. Alright, let's uh, go around so we get on the other side of the accent, and let's get to work.
Alright guys, this is looking a little crazy, but it's doable. Looks like uh, Fire and Rescue already transported everybody that was involved because they are no longer on scene. So I'm just going to park up this truck here for now. Let's take a look at what's going on. Looks like the Sheriff Department got their brand new trucks out. The 2020 2500HD Silverado and the 2019 Ram 1500. Make sure you guys check out the videos I did on both of these trucks last week too. We had a lot of fun. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? Are you guys ready for us to begin? You guys are done with your investigation? Okay, perfect. Was everybody okay? Couple injuries. Okay, well, at least there was no fatalities. All right, no problems. Just give us a little bit of time and we'll get the road cleaned up for you, okay? All right, thank you. All right, guys, so we are clear to start working. Look at this. This is crazy right now. The whole thing just flipped over. Luckily, the container didn't land on the other vehicle. So yeah, this whole thing, you could kind of see how it broke apart and just... Basically, this just went flying. SUV got destroyed as well. Alright. This is going to be a crazy one. Alright, you guys already know what to do. Let's start rigging this up. And let's get to work. So I'm going to start off with the... Uh, the SUV here looks like a Toyota RAV4. Alright, so my guys are going to start with all the rigging on the container, the semi truck, and the trailer. And I'm just going to work on this Toyota RAV4 here. So we're just going to see if we could just pull it right over. All right, <laughs> that was a little crazy, but we did get it flipped over. So let's get the bed down. Now let's get it onto the bed. You know what, I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit more. So they should just be about done with that rigging. Let's get what's left of this RAV4 onto the bed here. heck was this person watching in the back what no wonder why they crashed they, you can't be watching that kind of stuff while driving no wonder all right so we have that on let's uh lock it down strap it down and let's get the roll back back up So this truck is ready to go with that and let's see how we're gonna get this flipped over now this is gonna be the fun part here so at least the container fell off on its own so we don't have to worry about unhooking that so we should just better run a line here run one there and then probably two to the truck most of the weight is gonna be on the truck actually so we're just gonna focus on pulling the truck and then the trailer is just gonna naturally come with it since it's still attached so about four lines and we should be good
Alright, I think we should be able to do it from about right here. Alright guys, so we have all of our lines ran. Got the team standing by ready to go. Let me just make sure we have the visual. So he's going to be watching that side. Two thumbs up. We are good. He got this side and he has those two sides. Alright, so we are good to go here guys. Let's go ahead and flip this thing over. You guys ready? And here we go. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Okay, the whole thing is rotating a little bit too much. That's not what, whoa. That's not what we want to happen. Okay, hold up. All right, guys, we got it back on its wheels. So before we release the lines, let's just try to choke up the wheels so this thing does not go rolling. And let's just set the uh, brake as well. All right, so let's check out. Let's see, we gotta release this now. Looks like the trailer's still okay here. Truck is badly damaged though. All right, let's uh, say we still gotta. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Should we move the truck first, or should we try to move the container first? I think we should move the truck first. Alright guys, so we should be able to hook up to it like this and just pull it out of the way. Alright, so we're just going to do a quick hook up and pull and just move this pickup truck out the way for one second we'll just put it maybe right there Alright, so we'll set that down for now. And let's go get that container up. This should be the fun part. I'm trying to think, once I lift it up, this isn't a rotator, so I can't really move it too much. Um, I might have to just bring the semi truck in from the other side, possibly. All right, so for this lift, which I forgot to do with the first lift, was to put down the outriggers and stabilizers. So we have those down and we'll just role play that they're coming out here as well for extra support and what i'm gonna do i'm kind of like spawn like a i can't really put this arm up in the air so i'm gonna spawn like this crane prop which kind of looks somewhat legit not really i'll i'll show you guys here in a second what i mean all right guys so this is what i was talking about like i said it's unrealistic but then again it is kind of cool because at least we have something up in the air until we have a truck that could actually do this so what we're going to do is grab the container 
and let's try to lift it up so nice and slowly and we're gonna try to rotate it as well so the plan is to get it high enough so that we could slide this uh, flatbed trailer underneath it and then lower it back down but like I said this is like the worst location because I can't really drive the truck in without driving on the grass and being on unleveled uh, unleveled surface but uh, it is what it is so we're gonna keep lifting that up in the air and let me know what you guys think about this do you guys like when I do this, this is like the uh, second time I'm trying something out like this. So let me know if you guys enjoy it or uh, not. All right, let's try to just roll it here. I'll just make it go a little bit faster. But we want to keep it under control. All right, leveling that out. Okay, I think it's high enough too. We should be able to, I'm gonna try to just back right up into it. So let's keep that right there. Let's go grab the Kenworth. <laughs> He's just over here, thumbs up. And All right, I think our best bet is to back up into it. So I have to get this whole thing turned around. got it perfect on our first try. I actually need to lift that up a little bit. I thought it was high enough, but we just cleared it. All right, I told him to lift it up a little bit higher. I didn't want to bump it or anything like that. I think this is as good as we're gonna get it. All right, so let's try to lower it down. Okay, here we go. I have to kind of straighten it out a bit too. Straight to me. And, oh, we are good. All right, so let's get this thing strapped down. And uh, let's see. I'll let the other guys get this strapped down, and I'll work on getting it attached back to the semi truck. So we could have got another heavy wreck out here to kind of save time and tow the truck while we were flipping this over. But I just figured we might as well just knock it all out. Oops. <laughs> It would be nice if I put those riggers back up. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I could have had another truck, but I figured it will just be faster if we just knock it out ourselves. All 
Alright, so got that up in the air. I'm gonna get my guys to chain this down as well. We're also gonna have to run the airlines, get the wireless light bar in the rear. Uh, what else we gotta do? Chain, chain this down, safety chains, breakaway chains, all that good stuff. And then we should be ready to go. So we have this as one load, we have that as another load, and we have the flatbed over there as the third load. And let's transport all of this stuff back to our shop. Alright guys, so that was another successful recovery by Ace Towing. Let's go ahead and get all of these vehicles back to the shop. And of course, he's going to go his own way. Right, he, I don't know where he's going. All right, so let's just get back to the shop ourselves. <laughs> Semi trucks should follow us at least. Turn traffic back on and let's make our way back. Hey, look who decided to show up. <laughs> Alright, finally we can roll out as a convoy now. Oh man, he just went right into that car. Let's send a tow truck for the blue car. <laughs> Alright, almost back. Half a mile to go. But yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy the episode, again, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. Also, make sure you guys check out my other channels as well. I have three other channels, uh, Ace on Scene, Ace on Demand, and Ace on the Move. Check out the video description and you guys will see what each channel is for. But I actually am going to upload a video of a real life accident I came across the other day, which was kind of crazy. It was like a four car accident. I'm going to upload that on my Ace on Scene channel, so definitely look out for that. And then also, uh, if you guys don't know, I was on a vacation as well. I went on a cruise, so if you guys want to see some like vlogs from the cruise and the places I visited and all this fun stuff we did, all the activities, check out my vlog channel, which is Ace on the Move. Alright guys, so we made it back. Let's go ahead and park all this stuff up. And uh, I guess we got to figure out what they want us to do with that container too. Alright, so we'll pull this right inside.
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Uh, we're just going to bring everything inside. We'll park it in the rear lot back there into the insurance adjusters come out and figure out what they want to do with everything. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what was your favorite part of today's video. We got to use a semi truck. We got to use the uh, flatbed trailer. We got to flip over a container. We got to use the flatbed wrecker over there and flip that Toyota over. And then we got to tow the uh, container trailer and the semi truck and flip all this stuff over with heavy number two our Kenworth heavy duty record so we did a lot today so let me know what was your favorite part of the episode but again thank you guys so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed if you made it to the end of the video definitely let me know so I could give you a special thank you and shout out in the comment section so thank you guys so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one peace